Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, the link Wi-Fi extender. So sometimes you do need to extend your Wi-Fi service in your working or living area. I mean, you have different floors. For example, you do need uh, Wi-Fi coverage in the basement or at the end of the backyard, wherever, it's not important. But at the same time, you are seeking for like the cheapest, the easiest, and the most convenient solution. And what's that? This device, actually, this bad boy. D-Link Wi-Fi extender. Uh, I've bought it in the past, I cannot remember when, but right now uh, it's February 2022. The price of that in Amazon, probably it will be something like 50 bucks, not too much. So, and the, the thing is that, actually I got rid of whatever related to that, I mean, package uh, like box like instructions pocket guides or whatsoever i have nothing and imagine you just found it in the street how you can use it it's like easy peasy the, uh, there are some informations here if you can see like yeah probably you can see that you can see the wi-fi uh, ssid the password and that's enough for you so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna just connect it, like uh, plug it. When you plug it, uh, if you can like see that, I'm not sure, like my extension is not too long, but yeah, you can see it is uh, connected. There's a reset button here. I will use a toothpick like this to reset it. And then uh, I have a cable via this cable actually with which I can give this device internet connection and this is the LAN. So the only thing that I need, I have to wait for that to, uh, I have to wait for that to boot. Then I will restart it. Then uh, start the configurations, connect the cable, I give the internet and uh, just, changing the password and the easiest task, then I will show you that I can connect via this to the internet and I can surf the net. So let's do everything. This Wi-Fi extender, this is the one that I was using, I mean, before capturing this video. Then uh, I have that here. I'm not connected to that, but I have that here. When you plug it, at first, uh, there's a red LED on that. It is red after maybe like one minute. It will, uh, uh, like, it will be blinking and the color will be changed to orange color. At this time, when uh, it starts to blink and the color uh, changes, you will have it here. Uh, the name will appear. So this is the time that you can put something like a toothpick in the reset button and uh, wait for that this is the thing that i exactly i'm doing you insert wait and i think 10 seconds will be enough for that yep and uh, it changed it again uh, changed to red and i think we're not gonna see that here again or maybe we should wait we should wait because it will revert uh, to the result, uh, the default factory configurations. Yep, see, we lost that. And based on the picture that I've taken from the back of that, it should be like uh, dealing E558, something like that. So we should be patient. Yep, see, we have it here. Click on that, what is the password? The password based on uh, what was mentioned, B A F double E three seven one eight six. This is the password at the back of that. So join, let's uh, wait, it is thinking. Okay, cool, I'm connected. But as you can see, my Google Drive is disconnected because I don't have any access to the internet. Just the AP is on. And, uh, and as you can see, I cannot go to any website. Then I do need 
to somehow explore that so i would say http probably there's no https uh the link ap uh what was that ap i think e i'm not sure five five b e five five b and uh then probably local hopefully it works yep yep cool we have it now we are connected to that and it is saying as long as this device is like a brand new device because we just uh, do the preset factor reset default and it reverted uh, back to what it was we should do it so language english okay it is saying me just three steps next scanning probably searching for the internet yeah because there's nothing connected to that uh i may connect my internet cable to that yeah look this color is changed and the led is still blinking in orange color and blinking this is my network oh <laughs> so i'm gonna pause the video just add my password and then i will show you the rest of that so here this is the next step after uh now it is connected to my inter to the house wi-fi router it is asking me what will be your what will be your uh password what will be your ssid the same i'm uh, just saying the previous name and like the password again i'm gonna pause this video add my password now it is asking me to set up a password like in the future i may need to just connect to that change the configuration without resetting it without i mean starting from scratch so i do need a password for management i will add the password when you add all of the information that the device asked you one by one and pass uh, through all of the steps in the end you'll see something like this i took a screenshot of that and i removed the passwords actually but uh, it is like a recap for you that you can see whatever you've just added and uh, once you click on finish everything will be done configurations will be done so after finishing everything we should wait here we should a little wait to see okay done uh but the thing is that now we are disconnected why because we've uh, changed the password and the device is disconnected the good point is that that uh, led which were blinking in orange now it is in green i'm gonna click on that uh can i connect probably no because the password is changed and it is going to ask me about password or no no because i've chosen the previous password this is the thing so now if i go to i don't know just try to check google google will see everything is cool i have access to my internet the last thing to show you and uh, what is the cool part uh related to that wi-fi extender is that you can see how many clients are just connected to that uh, one of them is this laptop and the other one is my phone and the other one uh, probably our tv i don't know the thing is that i know how many are connected when we click on the setting tab we have network that uh, shows the ip addressing related to that it is the gateway actually this is the home wi-fi router and as we can see when it is on dhcp and dynamic so everything are like here correctly uh, without any need to change and this part is cool and uh, if you go to the extender just the settings that we've done i mean password username whatsoever here 
these are the things on admin we can change the password that we've set to do the management we have system upgrade in upgrade we can upgrade uh, firmware um, actually it's not a big deal it's working with that but here in the statistics we can see if uh, something is happening here like we can see the received and uh, send packets which is good we can see the Wi-Fi and uh, if any user on 2.4 gigahertz is using that and we have nothing and on 5 gigahertz uh, right now no, actually uh, we, we don't do anything big but if I open something from YouTube and uh, let's try it like come here and I go to my channel and just let's play I don't know something like that and if I come here I can see let's just mute this yep I can see there are some like data usage here that's it we've done a daunting task now it was like as easy as ABC that uh, you saw that just in this way you can uh, extend your Wi-Fi service in your house and uh, at the end, uh, the, your device will be exactly like this. You can see the green light over there in the picture and the, your device is broadcasting. And it was whatever that I wanted to tell you about this configuration and uh, steps. So if you like that, if you find it applicable and useful for you, just show me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay safe. Bye everyone. Bye.